It was an atmosphere of glitz and glamour at the Catholic Hall, Festa Town for Women in Amu Ward of in local government and Oriade local council development area as they gathered to sensitize women on the permanent voters card towards 2023 general elections and more inclusion of women in governance and adequate attention to their welfare. Present at the event were APC flag bearer for House of Representative Amu Ward of in federal constituency, Prince Lanry Sanusi, APC flag bearers for Lagos State House of Assembly, Amu Ward Dauphin Constituency 1 and 2, Honorable Ola Western and Honorable Ola Wale Rauf Sulaiman. Others were the Vice Chairman of Amu Ward Dauphin Local Government, Mrs. Maureen Sahara, who represented the Council Chairman, Chairperson of Ojo Local Government, Alhaja Idowu Rasulu, Amu Ward Dauphin Local Government Women Leader, Alhaja Ajao, APC Chieftain, Comrade Mrs. Regina Yabo de Obasa, Deputy Director General of Adebule Independent Campaign Group, Honorable Abayami Sadiq, and all other APC women leaders and party stalwarts from Amu Ward of Inyan Uriade Councils. Speaking at the event, Executive Chairman Uriade Local Council Development Area, Honorable Mrs. Ramotalai Akindola Hassan, stated that all the candidates chosen by APC for elective positions in the forthcoming general elections are eminently qualified to work for the interests of the electorate, particularly the female gender. Ramotalai urged the thousands of women present at the event to come out en masse on the election days with their voters' card to vote for Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinobu as President of Nigeria, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu as Lagos State Governor, Dr. Idia Toluronte Adebule as Senator representing Lagos West Senatorial District, Prince Larry Sanusi as House of Representative Amu Ward of Federal Constituency, Honorable Ola Western as Member House of Assembly representing Amu Ward of Constituency 01, Honorable Rauf Sulaiman as Member Lagos State House of Assembly, Constituency 2. Akinola said all these candidates are tested and trusted to provide progressive governance for the people. APC While addressing the gathering, Dr. Idi Atadebule thanked everyone present for the continuous support and encouraged them to vote for all the candidates of the All Progressive Congress. She promised to always prioritize the interests of women and ensure that they are well captured in the developmental programs of the government. As a lady, I'm representing you. I'm representing you. I must create the chance to meet each and every one of you. We are meeting for that The Director General of Adebule Independent Campaign Group, Honorable Razak Ajala, said Adebule merits the elective position to represent the good people of Lagos West Central District at the Upper Chamber 
of the National Assembly. Because she's one of you, she knows where it teaches. And given what she's known for when she was the secretary to the local, uh, to the state government, when she was the member of Tesco, when she was the deputy governor, she has always been a strong advocate of women inclusion. He urged participants at the event to go all out and campaign for Dr. Idi Atadebule and other candidates of the party. The significance of today's event is to is oppression show your PVC. We want to know if our women have the BVC because we know that it's women that have the votes. Because the, there's this saying that says that the hand that cradles rocks the world. And the women cradles because they cradle their children, they cradle their husband, and they rock the world. Get ready for the job ahead, for, to vote for our party, to vote for Ashwaji Bola and Metunumbu, to vote for a renewed hope of progress, to vote for renewed for renewed hope of good character, to vote for the government of integrity, to vote for progress, to vote for a new beginning, to pick up that PVC, and it is only the PVC that we can use in making sure that we actualize uh, the votes. It is very, very significant in the sense that women, especially those that are not well enlightened, they have seen that it is a woman that is representing them you know, at the upper chamber of uh, National Assembly. And this has given them that sense of belonging. And it has given to them the opportunity, the intention and the real you know, uh, 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 interest in wanting to partake physically you know, in this uh, you know, oncoming election. If the women, if they want to continue to occupy their right to position in the polity, this is the time they need to use their strength to make a statement. Because if at the end of the election, Dr. Idiot Adebule is able to come to the table with large or with huge votes, that will make a statement that the result is because of agenda. And that will give more women opportunity to serve at various levels of government, be it federal state or local government. And we want to show you that we women, we own the votes, we own our presidents, we own our senators, we own our governor, we own all other aspirants of Lagos State and Nigeria particularly. We invited the women for them to come and show their PVC. That it is women when you go to church, you see a lot of women. When you go to mosque, you see a lot of women. When you go to Shebaye Papa, you see a lot of women. And we are the owner of all men, all men, all boys, all human beings in life. Oh,